you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing a little more um, unfamiliar for me the next few games that I'll be doing that is and we're starting it off with at least something familiar this is the Atari anniversary redux and um, as you can see it's a collection of uh, classic Atari games um, let's see if it plays like the arcade or the 2600 although just from these little screen caps it looks like it's based from uh, the arcade versions well let's see let's try this one battle zone start a new game um, okay I can't figure out the controls though oh here we go shoot oh come on all right got one and another one interesting vector graphics we got going here okay I've been shot as well I uh, didn't really play this in the arcade, of course. I um, did see that there was a like a remake version of this sometime in uh, 1998, I think. And uh, yeah, I failed to mention that yeah, I'm playing this on a PlayStation Classic via RetroArch. And let's go to a different game. So if you're looking to add like a multi-game in one bin queue file, this is one. Although I think you can add Atari games on PlayStation Classic if you have the right core if you're into that wow the sound is terrible I'm sure you all can hear it I I'm not sure if it's because of the port or because of the performance of the emulator on the PlayStation Classic I doubt it's because of the game itself. Let's see if it's the same thing if I don't play the deluxe version. I think it does. But that's weird considering these are like 2600 games or I don't know games from the 70s and 80s early 80s. You'd expect them to run without problems on the hardware provided to them which is the PlayStation Classic and yeah well, it looks like we do suffer a massive uh, frame rate drop there given on the FPS counter it becomes 30 frames per second hmm. I wonder if it's Okay, I'm gonna try to mess with some settings, which I don't normally do, but let's see. Um, video. I left all these in default, by the way. Okay, and I don't see, let's see what I can actually mess around here that would improve the quality um, yeah 
there, but I don't see anything that would oops, actually help with the performance here. Maybe it's being read as a PAL region game. Let's see. I don't know. Let's try NTSC. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, I think it did. Continue. Um, start a new. Ugh, I can't even continue. Let's see. Nope, no, no, no. The frame rate did increase. Oh no, it dropped again. Wow. Looks like uh, PlayStation Classic is having a hard time with 26, no, not 2600, but um, old games, <laughs> basically. Obviously, it's not optimized for, that, for them. Uh, let's try a different game. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's try Centipede. Okay. Start. Yeah, looks like this one is suffering as well. Not as bad as the asteroids. So, those looking for some vintage Retro games, this is not the way to do it. Sounds is horrible. Everything feels off, of course. And yeah, ugh, I, I can't even. I'll try one more game, all right? Uh, okay, Pong. Pong shouldn't be too hard, right? It's basically just a rectangle and a square. Okay, well at least this one runs fine. Um, I'm not the one running fine though. How could I miss that? So it depends on the game. But so far, only Pong is running okay. The battle zone was fine, but I, I failed to check the FPS. Maybe I just didn't notice that it was also running poorly. But this one is so okay. I'm not the one playing okay though. Oh boy. I am the worst Pong player. What the heck? Alright, alright. There you go. Just don't move. Oh, finally. Okay. Hmm. It's hard to... Oh wow, was the original Pong always this hard? Well, maybe it's because of the controls, I don't know. No, it's probably me. I'm the one not used to this game. But anyway, yeah. Um, Definitely not recommended, the Atari Anniversary Edition Redux on the PlayStation Classic. You're better off looking for like a emulator, other emulators, Atari or Arcade, whatever you prefer. I'm sure it exists somewhere out there, you just need to look for it and you can load it on the um, PlayStation Classic. But as for these games, playing them on the Atari Anniversary Redux is not the way. 
And that's it for this video. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.